What's up everyone? Today we're doing a quick bike check on my high tower, as well as a little bit of a review of the Santa Cruz carbon wheels. I've had this bike for about 10 months now, and originally I wasn't ever going to do a bike check on it because it was the same build as my last high tower, but I've changed up quite a few things. Just finished a ride, so my bike's pretty dusty, but that's how it looks 90% of the time anyway. So I am five foot and eight inches tall, weigh 145 pounds I'm on a medium frame. This is the regular high tower frame, not the high tower LT. I only run 29 inch wheels. I've never put the 27.5 wheels on this bike. As I said, this is my second high tower. Really like the high tower frame. It's just a versatile bike. Good at going uphill, smashes back downhill. So for suspension, I got the Fox Float X2 out back. Box 36 up front, 160 millimeters of travel. As far as settings go, I have my shock with 155 PSI, three volume spacers, my low speed compression, about six clicks from closed, uh, high speed compression, about in the middle. And my rebound, I run a little bit slower than normal. So about 16 clicks to closed up front. I have about 60 PSI in my fork, three volume spacers, low speed compression is 12 clicks from closed, high speed compression 16 clicks from closed. And like my rear suspension, the rebound is a little bit slower than normal. So up at cockpit, running Renthal Fat Bar Light, 35 millimeter clamp bars. 760 millimeters wide, 20 millimeters of rise. Uh, the stem is a Renthal Apex 35, 50 millimeter length. Under my handlebars, I'm running 25 millimeters of stack. Definitely recommend other riders do that. I see most people riding with really low handlebars and raising up your handlebars, getting more stack height can really improve your riding on technical terrain. Chain guide, I'm running a one-up chain guide with bottom bash guard on there. For brakes, running St. Brakes front and rear. With the St. Brakes, I'm running a 203 millimeter Ice Tech rotor up front and a 180 millimeter rotor out back. Drivetrain, running the XT 11 speed drivetrain. 32 tooth, wolf tooth, camo, chain ring up front and I'm running the E13 TRS cassette so that's a nine tooth all the way up to a 46 tooth so you actually get 511 percent of range which is more than Eagle which has 500 percent range probably the best drivetrain I've ever ran just shifts flawlessly um, you can beat the hell out of it and just keeps on going a lot cheaper than replace an eagle as well. So on to the wheels. These are the Santa Cruz Reserve 30 carbon wheels, 29 inch wheels. So let me start off by saying I have broken one of these reserve carbon wheels. about after four months of use, four months of abuse, and I wasn't running Kushcore for most of that time period, but when I did end up breaking the wheel, I was running Kushcore. The warranty process was super easy. Just sent an email to Santa Cruz, had a new wheel back in two days. I do really like running the carbon wheels. They hold their lines better in turns. 
Um, they accelerate faster out of turns, and they don't really need to be trued that often. Mounting the WTB tires onto the reserve wheels was pretty easy, not any harder than any other wheel. Compared to what else is on the market right now for carbon wheels, it does seem like the Santa Cruz wheels are some of the best to go with as far as price and how awesome the warranty is. I am running Kushkor in my rear tire only. I think Kushkor is game changing. You can just run lower pressure, not hit your rim, but also there's a lot of good damping characteristics with Kushkor that cut out a lot of trail chatter as well as improve your braking and traction and cornering. Normally when you would run lower tire pressure, your sidewalls would get a lot flexier and you'd go into a turn and they'd fold over. No one likes the feeling of your tires folding, but Kushkor adds a huge amount of sidewall support. So even in, when you are running those lower tire pressures, you're still getting super stiff sidewalls. So you can come in, rail turns without folding your tires. Um, I just don't think it's necessary up front. I don't ping my front rim that much. I don't think it's worth the wait, especially with 29er wheels. Right now I'm running a WTB Trail Boss, tough casing, fast rolling out back. WTB Vigilante, tough casing, high grip up front. I hate getting flats and I can count on one hand the amount of flats I've gotten in the last two years on WTB tough casing tires. Tire pressure. Out back with the Kush Core, I usually run about 26 PSI, maybe a little bit more if I'm going to North Star or riding a lot of sharp rocks. Um, if I'm in a race or the conditions allow for it, I'll run a little bit lower. Up front, pretty similar tire pressure to the rear. Um, usually 26, 25 PSI up front, maybe a little bit lower. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other bike setup questions in the comments. Also, let me know if there's anything about this bike that you would change.